everybody, welcome back to another Brit the Great 08 video, and I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, I've just been extremely busy with things, and you can see there's a lot of things going on here, so I'm going to get started by saying that this is a fictional ship I've made called the Brett Tannic, of course, it is totally fictional, sort of based off of the Titanic design, and how I thought it would have looked, and just some other factors going there. But this is it. Uh, this is just a rough outside model. I haven't even finished it on the server. I have a full model on another hard drive which I need to get out. But this is the basic outside. Just gotta add the lifeboats and railings and whatever out here and vents. And then the outside will be done. And I still have to complete the inside because there is an inside for this. At least there will be. I've designed one already. So this server, first of all, you might know Pipkin06, and th uh, I am collabing with her and a bunch of other people on making interiors now. So first, she did Titanic with one of her friends, William, in England. They're in England. We got people all over the country now. So. The thing is, she's in England, however, we've gotten a lot more people to work with us now. So, we have somebody from Russia, we have quite a few people from Britain, uh, I'm from America, and same with some other people. Uh, so we've really got Britain, Russia, Ger not Germany, Britain, Russia, America, we're Britain, Russia, and America, and we've just been, we worked on this Titan, or she worked on this Titanic with her friend William, and actually, if you know Rich LaRousse, I think I've mentioned him a couple of times, Rich LaRousse occasionally comes onto this server, and he'll talk with us on our Discord, but... Yeah, he's, he designs all the outsides of the ships, so we put his, we mentioned his name, put his logo in the tutorial videos for our new interiors. But anyway, nowadays, so we have the Titanic here, this is from Kadek, he's from Russia, and he's kind of modified the design a bit to make it more accurate. It's very nice. And all this rigging here. I've done all that. I will make a tutorial on that eventually. I'm not exactly sure when, though. Over here is the traffic and nomadic. Nomadic and traffic. So these have interiors. So we've made them. I believe. Yeah, they've been put in. So we have that. I think this is the. Is this the traffic or this? This is the. This is the traffic. Yeah, this is the traffic, that's the nomadic. Behind me is the Brandenburg Gate from built by Kadek, used from a tutorial. Gotta make sure that now. Here's our little board. So we got Dev, he's from America. And then we got Kadek, he's from Russia. Pipkins from Britain. Here's me, I am from America. Newbie1990, or Will. And he's from uh, Britain. Alan Wolf's from Britain, and Rich Lurus finally is from Britain. And over here we have the Carpathia. And I'm just giving a little tour around the Minecraft server. Over here is the Britannic. And I keep going. And over here, I am working on a 100% accurate Titanic. Because we are going to make a, we're planning on making a Titanic movie which is extremely accurate. So we have a super accurate model, and we're gonna have the accurate sinking, opposed to James Cameron's 1997 theory. He's updated now in 2012, and we're gonna sink it that way, and of course, not put in bad things. But this is it so far. We've gotten a lot of things done. I really just need to have the windows and rigging on here, and then it'll be done. And then actually a couple of more details on some of these decks. 
that causes. Over here, these are some of Howling Wolf's um, ships. I think he's... I forget what he's making here. I have to check later. Right, he's making the Wolf Tannic. I think it's like... I think he uses the Titanic hull, and then he's making his own superstructure for it. And all the outsides of these ships are, of course, done by Rich Larus. Gotta credit him for that. I'll post... I'll definitely post his YouTube channel link and some other other people's channels in the description. This here, this is Rich LaRousse's fictional SS Eagle, which he's built for us very nicely. So we're planning on making an inside for this. Maybe not a tutorial, but just make an inside. I've done all the rigging here. It's quite nice. I did these funnels too. Then here you can see I've added in some bulkhead placements and whatnot. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure if we'll make a tutorial on that. It might, might not. But anyway, here's the Empress of Ireland, which uh, we gotta make an interior at some point because uh, that won the vote. So. Since we thought Queen Mary over here would take such a long time, we were adding fillers and the Empress of Ireland won, so we got to work on that. But for now, we've been working on the Queen Mary. Here it is. We haven't gotten too much work on it done. We've really only gotten the, um, we've just gotten the, uh, almost the tank top is done. But we've got it all double stacked, all the walls and the ceilings, and I've put the bulkheads in, propeller placements. So down here, under these gray blocks, all this, this is the engine rooms. All these engines were designed by me. Though it was difficult, was this engine room, there was a bunch of pictures of. I could see everything. However, this next engine room, there's only bl super confusing blueprints of. So I kind of had to base it off of that. So, I don't know how accurate it is, but it's there nonetheless. Here's a boiler room. So, these boilers were also designed by me. So, it's pretty cool. And then these vents here are quite interesting. These are actually ventilation shafts for the boiler rooms. So, how I, th I think these work by air comes in from the ship moving here and it goes down to this goes down this tube and then it comes out and gives these boiler rooms a little bit of air so just gotta do a little touch ups on the walkways here in the boiler rooms and then the boiler rooms will be done everything else is done too very nice boilers and then also in here we have the turbo generator room. And these are also designed by me since they didn't have pictures. Got some recess for C valves. Very nice. And then boiler room. Another boiler room. Here, another turbo generator, another boiler room, and then in here, this is the f first boiler room. These boilers are different, so these white boilers, those are Yarrow boilers, and those are boiler rooms two through five, and these are Scotch boilers in room one. That's actually how the Queen Mary was designed. So I've helped Spyro, <laughs> Spyro, uh, yeah, we've, so I helped Spyro design these boilers, They're quite nice, and what was interesting is Spyro kind of had to kick out, I'll say it wasn't the, um, wasn't the greatest decision if we kept him longer, so he kind of just left himself, and now he's kind of leaving rude comments, and posts on Pipkin's, um, Pipkin's things, Pipkin's, uh, videos, so 
I'm trying to get these tutorials done before he can because he's copying us and not giving us credit. He's trying to get those tutorials out before us, but nope. We are making sure that he... We're making sure that we get the credit that we deserve because we're spending... I Just the engine rooms I've spent like 20 hours on designing. Alright, and then in here, this is a... Um, the uh, Oh, what is this? Say here? Nope. This is the water softening plant, and then the rest of these seem to be storage. I haven't really looked at the blueprints hard yet. But anyway, in here, this is the tutorial ship, filming ship. And this is, so you can see the recording has commenced. Now, all Pipkin has to do is voice him over and post him and edit him and whatever. But the bulkheads are in, the double stacking walls are in. Uh, just working on the boiler room one here and got these funnel placements in and then I also need to put in the vent placements those big ones with the red backing so yeah this is all that so far and uh, I suppose I should get a move on making this Brett Tannock tutorial so I'm gonna fly over there this is slow go all right now to start off I'm I'm really designing these ships like rich wood rich lures. so start off with the keel here and the keel is 500 no not 500 152 blocks long that's from there to there 152 and so I'm gonna want to be working on the left hand side now I am. It really doesn't matter. They're the exact same side. So, starting off here, I'm gonna want to go. I'm gonna start on the third block back here, and go th two rows of three, and then a row four, and then a row five, and a row four, and a row three, and four. And seven and six and then nine then a line of fifty six blocks so I'll measure this here two. 56. Alright, and now curve back in. So we go 11, and 9, and 2 rows of 7, and then 5, and then 2 rows of 4. And then five. And then two rows of four again. And then there should be six extra here, which there is. Perfect. So now you can fill in the floor here with the red terracotta. I used to do a red concrete, but that's just too bright. Red terracotta gives it a better red look. So fill red terracotta. There you go. And then we're going to want to add the. Uh, there's a little curve to the hole but down here. So you're going to add that now. Start in the back. And we're going to want to go out to. Then back to. Which way is. Back to this way. And out to again. That's the wrong spot. Here. Back to, out to, back to, and then out to again. And then in the front, it's the same. I want to go out to, back to, out to, and then connect these lines like this. 
set red terracotta. I'm not gonna copy flip paste this over until the um until the entire hole is done because it just saves a bunch of time and now that I've toured the um given you a tour of the server then you know, it's just gonna be a long video. So now that that's done we can move on to the different sections, building up these sections here. So some people, like Rich Larus, like to take out a sign. And I like to number these sections. So number one would be zero. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and then eleven is here. Is that right? Yeah, eleven is here, twelve is here, and thirteen is here. So usually when I'm building ships, I don't number them, but since I'm making this tutorial, it's just a lot easier to read what I've written down, see where I am. So, starting on section zero, you're gonna wanna go four, and then th um, three, and then two rows of two, and then up two, and then two, like that. So section one, you're gonna wanna go three, and three again, and then two is a two, and then up two, and then up two again. And then section two, go three, and then three rows of two, one, two, three, and then up two, and two. And then section three, I wanna go three again, three and then two rows to two and then up two and then up three and then one in section four you're gonna wanna go four and then two is a two and then up two and then three and then one like the section before it section five back five one, two, three, four, five, and then three, and then two rows of two, and then up two, and then two, and section six, back or forward four, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two rows of two, two. And then up two, and then one. And then section seven, you're gonna wanna go back three, and then four, and then two rows of two, and then up two, and then, oh no, hold on. Section seven. I might think I didn't did this wrong. Three, four, and then two, two, two is a two, and then up two, and then two, like that. Section eight, back four, and then two is a two, and then up two, and then up three, and then one. Moving on to section nine, then we're gonna go back seven, and then three, and then two is a two, and then up two, and then two. Yeah. All right, section ten. I'm gonna want to go back six. And then four, 
and then three, and then two rows of two, and then up two, and then one. There we go, section 11. Take that block out. Go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then five. And then four. And then three. Two. And then up two. And then one. And then section 12. You're going to want to go. So starting on this block here. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and four, and then three, and then two, and then one. And finally, section 13, back four, two rows of four actually, so four, four, and then three, and then two rows of two like that. And that is the front section we'll curve of course. It's called the flare out. So you can see you can't really see it here, but you can see on which which is here, which is SS Eagle, that if you look at it from the front, you can see that it actually curves outward. And that is just for buoyancy reasons and not to get water on the deck. And then back down here and then if you watched previous videos you know just fill in sections here with red terracotta and speaking of those other videos that I've posted um, if you know what they are then I'll look at you because I can't find them anymore so if I ever do find them so I think after I film this video, finish filming this video and doing whatever, then I'll probably take them down, take the videos down since I can't find the ships, they're lost on another hard drive, but if I ever find that hard drive, I'll be sure to put them back up, so, sorry if you're just waiting there, trying to get another ship done, but, you know, another Titanic done, but, yeah. That's that, and actually, just I'm gonna take off these signs now. You don't need these anymore. So now that those sections are filled in, you have the nice whole shape. All right, now we'll be working on the back, and once again, you're probably gonna want to um, put the signs in for the sections, starting with zero. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Once again, that just makes it easier for uh, marking out things for me. Uh, you don't have to do it. You you can do it if you want to. Just I once again, I just wouldn't usually do it. But anyway, so for section zero, you're gonna want to go up seven. And that's that whole section. You can see it goes straight up here. Like that, and you can actually see this on the Titanic too. Just straight up section for the rudder to connect to, and I think Rich has it on his. Yeah, Rich has it on his SS Eagle here. Just go straight up there for the rudder to connect. And anyway, section one, you want to go two, two. It's two as a two, and then up two. Oh, wait, maybe not up two. It's up four. Not two, not up two again. Like that. Hold on. I'm seeing. Hmm. One, two. 
two, three, four. No, just go up five. Because I think I may have messed that up. That should be five. And then, actually, yep. So I go two, two, and then up five. And then section one. Here's section two. Oh, wait a second. I was looking at the wrong section. This is supposed to be up five. The next one is two as a two. And then up four. And then up two. Yeah, look at that there. So anyway, section three. I'm going to go two as a two. And then up three. And then two as a two again. Like that. Section four. Three. Two as a two. And then up two. And then two and two. Section five. Three again. And two as a two. And then up two. Two, two again. Section six, four. And then two, two, up two, 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 like that. And then seven, section seven. And I want to go back five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of two. One, two, three. And then up two, and two. And section eight, go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three, two, three. And then, things not loading. And then, shoot, two. And then up two. And then two is two. There we go. Section nine. Go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three. And then two is a two. And up two. And two is a two. That's not right. What section is this? It's nine and then seven. Three, two, two, up two. Oh, okay, so it's only a one, or two. I'm already messing up already. This is not going well. But anyway, it's only my, what would it be? One, two, three, four, fifth whole tutorial. So anyway, section 10. I'm gonna go section, I'm gonna go forward nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then two is a two. And then up two. And then two. Same height again. And then section 11, take up this block. And do back 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four. four and three, three, then two is a two, and then one. And then section 12, start on this block here, and go six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and three, two, one. There we go. Section 13, finally, go back five, one, two, three, four, five, and then four, three, two, one. Very simple. Now, if you want to take out this block here, you can, and you just save space or something. I don't think I have that on my interior model, wherever that is, but... You can just do that if you want. And then of course, fill in these sections. Once all those are placed. So I'll fill these in. So anyway, while I fill these in, I'll 
tell you about some things is the people we are working with as you saw was quite a few people but also on discord who I talk with there is also like I said we had to kick out Spyro because he was well he really thought everything had to be done his way and he was like making changes to stuff and that we tell, told him not to didn't even tell us he was making any changes and then he wasn't being very respectful and he was like he was plagiarizing copying things and wouldn't credit anybody so we really he left so we technically kicked him out told him he needed to leave and if he didn't leave we'd kick him out so he left and once again he's sabotaging Pipkin posting nasty comments and saying like oh you better credit me for this that's my things whatever but you know so instead of just deleting his comments what we've done is Pipkin has gone, gone along and responded to him in the comments saying that he is wrong and that we will credit him for what he's done and hopefully that will work uh, not hiding anything just telling the truth we are telling the truth and yeah so another thing is that we are getting an ugly I'll say a replacement for Spyro um, his name is cryptic and he will um, he will hopefully be joining us soon well, we haven't added him to the server quite yet we need to see more of how he's like he seems to be really into roleplay so yeah we'll if we if we need to add him choose to add him whatever we will we'll, we'll do we may add him at some point but for now it's just us eight technically if you include Dev, who he's he has he's not really done anything on the server yet. He doesn't have a computer or console or anything to play on, but he does talk with us on the server and he's helped us out as much as he can by like finding blueprints and pictures of the Queen Mary. He's also been helping Rich in the Rich LaRousse in the Discord, helping him find blueprints for other ships. So I'm sure Rich appreciates that. But anyway, I get to work on this now. For the, I'm gonna do the rudder now, which I should probably change it here. Change these to brick, not those ones. You need a no wall, polished black stone wall. So for the rudder, you're gonna want to leave a single block space and start your rudder here. So the rudder is two, well, three rows of two, so one, two, three rows of two there. And then up three, and then go in, go two, and two. And then line this up here, fill it in, and then connect the hinges like that. Here we go. And now I can actually put in, I think, did I put in that? Yeah, I put in the propeller here. So what you're gonna what you're gonna wanna do is break through a seven by three hole but leave the corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three blocks wide. So cut all this out. Just follow this. That's what you need to cut out. And fill in the blocks here. So now I have this open space. So this you're going to need smooth sandstone and smooth sandstone stairs so what you're going to want to do is go build out three blocks from the center here is it, no it's two blocks build out two blocks from the center then go up two blocks not one and then add a stair at the corner like that 
and then do this on all the sides. So just have put that in Nazi symbol, and then put in the stairs on the corners. And there is the propeller. Now I think that may be it for this. Now something you can do is put these brick stairs on the corners like this. You don't have to, but it is a suggestion. I think it makes it look a bit weird with the white in between the bricks and just makes it not look right. You could also put stairs here above and below that. I should make that to the ground. But yeah, for now I'm just sticking with the design of putting just leaving these stairs out and having red terracotta in there. Alright, now that is that is part one of the Brett Tannic tutorial. And I like Rich and uh, whoever else, Rich, Pipkin, all sorts of people, all we ask for is that if you're building this for something, like Rich says, a downloadable project, a Minecraft video, that we should credit the builder, because plagiarism is illegal, at least here in America. So, if you're going to build this for a downloadable project, or a YouTube video or something, then remember to credit me because I spent a very long time designing the ship inside and out. So I guess I'll see you guys in part two or whenever my next live stream is if you watch those. So bye for now.